Today I will show you how to draw intersecting planes in perspective. At the end of this webinar, I'll give you one offer you don't want to miss, so stay with me to the end. Let's do a bit more challenging exercise with a plane not vertical, but tilted. This time, I will also draw a cuboid in two-point perspective. Once again, how to draw in perspective is fully explained in the Drawing Academy course. You can enroll at a discount on that page. Here it is, another cuboid that stands with its corner pointing to a viewer. I can make this corner bolder to get a feeling of an aerial perspective. Now, here's something new, a plane that is tilted at an angle to the ground. This tilted plane stands on the same ground as the cuboid. So, we could check where cuboid's footprint intersects with plane's edge. Once again, there are two points of intersection. One is visible, and another is invisible at cuboid's opposite side. Because the plane is tilted, a line of intersection will be tilted as well. Here it goes, parallel to plane's sloped edge. It ends with a dot on cuboid's edge. Now, the same is true for cuboid's opposite side. A line of intersection will be tilted as well. This line also ends at cuboid's edge. This dot belongs to cuboid's top side. However, the previous dot isn't. It belongs to the side plane of that cuboid. So, we cannot connect those two dots with one line. Instead, we need to find a place where the first intersection line will cross cuboid's top plane. The virtual dot will lie outside this cuboid. That is why I continue this edge beyond the cuboid. To find the cross section point, I also extend the intersection line till it crosses the top edge. This dot is located on the same top plane of the cuboid, although beyond its boundaries. Now we can connect two dots that lie on the same top plane. This line crosses cuboid's edge. The cross section point lies on this edge. This dot, together with the first one, belongs to the same back side of the cuboid. That is why we can connect these two dots with one line. Congratulations! We just completed the intersection line. I can now color code it in red. Actually, I will only highlight in red two lines that are visible on side and top planes of the cuboid. The lines on cuboid's backsides will remain in graphite pencil as they are invisible. I can also mark edges of the cuboid in blue. Once again, drawing in colored pencils is optional. I just want you to clearly see these two objects and how they intersect each other. I can also give some shading to cuboid sides in blue.
you can see that the cuboid's top corner is in front of the tilted plane, while the bottom corner is behind. I will add a bit more shading with fast pencil strokes using the candle grip. The left side of the cuboid is fully visible. I will shade it in blue as well. When it comes to the plane, we can do it in red, for example. Here's its corner, showing behind the cuboid. I will mark remaining edges of the plane in red as well. With colored shading, it is easy to see spatial location of these two objects. When drawing man-made objects, there are so many cases where one shape intersects another so, having a good understanding of how to deal with such cases really helps. Here it is, a cuboid sliced by a tilted plane. If you found this presentation interesting, send us an email with your feedback and suggestions. We will make more webinars on similar topics for you. To learn strong drawing techniques, you are welcome to enroll in the Drawing Academy course. In this online course, you will get 45 How to Draw video lessons, lifetime membership, all your art-related questions will be answered by the Academy tutors, who will also provide a constructive critique on your artwork. This course curriculum is divided into three months, but with the lifetime access to the course, there is no time pressure you can study at your own pace. Video lessons are streamed online and you can watch them on any internet connected device. Drawing Academy is also an art community. Here you can exhibit your works of art, communicate with Academy tutors, and give feedback on works of your fellow students. The Academy's curriculum covers all you need to know about good drawing techniques, starting from drawing materials, linear and aerial perspective, and rules of constructive drawing. It includes numerous lessons on portrait drawing, human anatomy for artists, proportions of a human body, and golden ratio, as well as creative drawing techniques that are not taught anywhere else. For a limited time, you can enroll in the Drawing Academy course at a discounted price of only $237. Just click the link below or go to the page displayed here. Here is the page where you can enroll in the drawing course at a discount. You won't find the same deal at any contemporary art college anywhere in the world. I'll see you in a minute when you enroll.